y'all. <sighs> Just got back from the SIG experience. They opened up their brand new building in the grand opening today. Got to meet some of y'all there, some of the viewers. It was awesome. It was nice to hang around with you. Let's jump right into this. So while I was in traffic in New Hampshire, coming back home, Jerry Nadler, the Penguin, uh, got up and uh, this is a press release that the House will be marking up the assault weapon ban. That's right, the House Judiciary Committee is going to vote through to the full floor the assault weapon ban. This on screen here is the press release. And Nadler said this. Over the past several decades, our country has witnessed senseless killing after senseless kill, and each time one of the facts has remained remarkably consistent. The weapon of choice for mass slaughter is a high-powered assault weapon. It is beyond frightening and disturbing that a weapon that was designed for as a tool of war has found its way into the hands of 18-year-olds and onto our streets. Any weapon that allows for the quick and efficient slaughter of children in our schools has no place in our communities. This markup is another step in our efforts to make our communities safer. I look forward to moving this legislation through the Judiciary Committee next week and onto the House floor. Congressman Cicilline said this, AR-15 style firearms have become the weapon of choice for shooters looking to kill as many people as possible, as quickly as possible, and have been used in the deadliest mass shootings in our history. From Sandy Hook to Parkland to Uvalde. Researchers estimate that if we still had a federal assault weapon ban, we would see 70% fewer mass shooting deaths. How many more kids need to die in their schools before we can finally crack down on these dangerous firearms which were designed for war? Now if you don't remember my video of the assault weapons ban, I'll put it up on top here, uh, pinned. But this is what it looks to do. It would make it unlawful for a person to import, sell, manufacture, or transfer the following. A semi-automatic rifle that can accept a detachable magazine that has at least one of the following military features. A pistol grip. That's not a military feature. Forward grip. Folding, telescoping, or detachable stock. Grenade launcher. Barrel shroud. Or a threaded barrel. All semi-automatic rifles that have a fixed magazine with the capacity to accept more than 10 rounds. Bump fire stocks and any part, combination of parts, component, device, attachment, or accessory that is designed or functions to accelerate the rate of fire of a semi-automatic rifle but not convert the semi-automatic rifle into a machine gun. That's all your triggers. All semi-automatic pistols that can accept a detachable magazine that have at least one of the following military features. Threaded barrel, second pistol grip, barrel shroud, capacity to accept a detachable magazine at some location outside of the pistol grip, or a semi-automatic version of an automatic firearm. So since they have full auto Glocks, then Glocks would be uh, caught up in this assault weapon ban. So think of all of the guns out there that have a full auto version somewhere in the world, they would be banned under this. All semi-automatic shotguns that have at least one of the following, a folding, telescoping, or detachable stock, a pistol grip, fixed magazine with the capacity to accept more than five rounds, ability to accept a detachable magazine, forward grip, grenade launcher, or shotgun with a revolving cylinder, high capacity feeding devices, magazines, strips, and drums capable of accepting more than 10 rounds. It would allow for the sale, transfer, or possession of assault weapons and large capacity magazine feeding devices lawfully possessed on the date of enactment of the assault weapons ban of 2021. And it also specifies that the restrictions do not apply to antique firearms, manually operated firearms, and more than 2,000 specified models of hunting and sporting firearms. So they're going to try to ban just about everything. 8Ks, ARs, anything that takes a magazine and has anything. A handguard, that's what the barrel shroud is. Um, any pistols that have a similar version of a full auto. Any shotgun that holds a sixth uh, shell uh, or has these stupid... Th this is crazy. Crazy. This is going to pass through the Judiciary Committee, just so we're all aware. It's going to pass the House, just so we're all aware. Senate is going to be the thing. And I'm telling you right now that there are Republicans who have said, behind closed doors and in the open, that they are in favor of an assault weapon ban. And some of them are retiring, and some of them have voted for things like the Senate's uh, gun control bill. And they also uh, dug their heels in and helped confirm... ATF Director Dettelbach a couple days ago. So we need to pay attention because this legitimately has a chance to get through the Senate. If they can get red flag funding to 60 votes in the Senate, I'm not, I'm not willing to say this has no chance. I'm just not. So now that I have this information to you, please spread this like wildfire. Get this information out right now. Um, start talking to your senators. Start talking to your uh, representatives burn up their phone lines, make their lives a live in hell. If they're going to want to violate our rights, we're going to make sure that they don't have a job anymore. Um, 
The bill itself is unconstitutional. I know that. We know that. The Bruin case, the Heller case, the McDonald case. They don't care. They're willing to do anything they can do to say, look, I did something. And, uh, no. Be loud, be proud. And, uh, if you want to stay in the know and follow this, hit the uh, subscribe button down below. Hit the like button and share it. It's the only way we can break this anti-gun YouTube algorithm is if we do it ourselves. So please share the video. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun. To keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. For those that I got to see at SIG, thank you for stopping and saying hi. And uh, this is frustrating. Do what we got to do, y'all. Take care.